center to get some cheese that was open. Today I'm going to be showing Sarah how to make some fathead dough because it's so versatile. thought it'd be a nice spin on her regular Jimmy Dean croissant breakfast sandwiches. We've never actually made croissants with this dough so it'll be a first for us but I use it for a ton of other things. All right so let's get started. All right so what do we do first? We get mozzarella cheese. Okay and we are doing one and a half cups of mozzarella oh. cheese. One. in a microwavable bowl because we're going to be melting that with the cream cheese. Where does the cream cheese go? In the bowl with the mozzarella. All right and we are doing two ounces of cream cheese and that was just the end of our little block so I'm just going to throw it all in there. So that's going to go into the microwave for one minute. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the dry ingredients. First things first, we got our almond flour and we're only gonna do three fourths of a cup. First, we'll go get our cheese. Okay, go ahead and mix it up. All right, next up, we got a tablespoon of baking powder. dry ingredients. All right, now we're going to season our flour. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put another pinch, or we're going to put one pinch of, Him of the Himalayan salt. Himalayan sea salt, okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, all right, so next we're going to add the cheese and with the dry ingredients. So I went ahead and did that for because it's kind of sticky Sticky cheese. So now we're going to add one beaten egg. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix it all up. So the dough is mixed. Now the easiest way that I have found to divide the dough because it is very sticky is to just make a big ball. You are gonna have to get your hands in there to work on it. So get as much as you can out of the bowl. It's very, very sticky, so just all right, so very sticky. So then you're just gonna take it. All right. And try and do our best and get them to where they need to be. So I'm gonna do I guess yeah. just like that. Put it into the oven at 425 and we'll do it for about 15 for 15 to 18 minutes. I think you're the best cook ever, seriously. This is delicious. Uh, you helped. Cool. That was good. <laughs>